Hey students, uh, welcome to today's lesson. We're going to be learning about uh, logarithm and indices. So, uh, logarithms uh, and indices. So we're going to be checking um, how to write numbers in indices and also to solve some uh, some expressions and equations that involves logarithm and indices. So let us jump right in uh, to indices. So we'll start with the indices first, then we go to logarithms. So indices. Now, what are indices? So if a number, if a number um a n where a where a is the base and n and n is the power and n is the power then we say the number then the number is in in the or uh, the number is in index form i.e. n is also called the index so if you have a number a n where a is the base and uh, n is the power then we say this number is in, indi uh, in indices form where n is also called the index so basically what you're going to be looking here are numbers uh, which are written in terms of powers. So when you see index uh, or indices, basically means uh, powers. So let's now check the laws uh, that governs the operation of indices. So we check uh, the first one. So <clears throat> now, so indices have uh, indices have laws or laws of indices. So if you have a number a raised to the power m and you multiply it by a raised to the power n, then we say when you multiply these two having the same base of a is just the same as writing a m plus n. So that is the first one. This one is called the product, uh, the product, uh, the product rule. Number two, we have if you have a number raised to the power m. Then you divide the number raised to power n, then this is the same as saying a m minus n. This one is called the quotient. Uh, the quotient uh, rule or the quotient law. Number three, if you have a number a m, then you raise it again to another power n. It's just the same as saying a, you have your m, and you multiply with n. This one is called the product. Uh, of powers or the power of powers it's called the product of power of the power of powers then we have four if you have a number raised to power of negative of m so anytime you shall have a number raised to power negative of m this basically means this number is supposed to be down at the denominator uh, it's supposed to be down at the denominators but you change now the sign to be in terms of a uh, positive and it works uh, both ways so if you have a number a then you have a raised to power negative m the aspect that it is negative then you will turn it back at the top and you change the power to be positive this one we call it the negative power and the negative power then five uh, if you have a raised to power m over n we always say a raised to power m over n, m is always the power and n is the root. m is the power, the number at the top of the fraction, uh, that is the numerator, is the power, then the one at the bottom is the uh, root. So we have a, you raise it to m, then you find the root n. So this one is called the fractional, fractional index. Then lastly, if you have a number, any number raised to power 0, any number raised to power 0, the answer is always 1. 
This one is called the zero index. <clears throat> so in our operation of indices, we are going to be checking these four, uh, these six uh, rules of indices. So one is the product rule, where you have uh, the product uh, of two numbers having the same base, you add the powers. When you divide, you subtract the powers. When you multiply a power by a power, you multiply the two powers together. You have a negative power, you write the number at the denominator, and the other way around. If the number is at the denominator and it has a negative, then it means it's supposed to be at the top. Then you have uh, a m raised to uh, a m over n, then m is the power and n is the root. Then any number, any number in, uh, in any field raised to power zero is equals to one. So these are the uh, rules uh, we're going to be checking and the laws of indices. So let's now check uh, one or two examples to illustrate indeed what we're seeing.